So uh, this is uh, uh, the way to solve the travel salesman problem with a genetic algorithm. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start. Uh, we have a, uh, a thread that's going to be running uh, both algorithms at a certain amount of runs. Um, we're doing a 50 runs. We're going to try to compare two different algorithms to see how they work. We have a gender one and then we have a regular one. I'll go into more detail here in a little bit. Uh, once we're running our generations, we have the default, like I mentioned, and then we have an else for the gender. And uh, they're both going to have about the same thing. Uh, we're going to have uh, tournaments, uh, a mutate function, and uh, the get best solution function to get the best solution. And we'll see how that uh, you know, uh, translates later on. So uh, under the tournament section, we're going to have a shuffle, um, which uh, basically the shuffle, all it's going to do is... Um, it's going to shuffle the population uh, that we have for the genetic algorithm, and then we're going to mate them. Uh, the mate them is pretty straightforward. It just grabs uh, the, the genome from one parent to the other and then passes it along. Now, the difference um, we're going to have from uh, the default setting for the genetic algorithm, uh, so it's going to use shuffle, but we're going to have something called mate with the gender. So the way it's going to work is that we are going to uh, use what happens in nature, which is that we have a female and a male uh, individuals usually for sexual reproduction and um, we're going to be using that so we have a solution uh, class or an object um, which uh, it's gonna have a, uh, uh, a property called as female so it's just a boolean to see if the um, the particular individual it's indeed a female or if it's a male uh, so based on that, then we're going to separate them uh, between females and males uh, and the, all the individuals in the population. We're going to uh, order the females in, uh, in the, the most, uh, the best fit to survive. And then we're also going to do the same thing for the males. And what's going to happen is that um, the, the males are going to be drawn to the best female. And, uh, and then the females are going to go ahead and select the best male. Uh, and then we have the same thing as, uh, as before, we're just gonna mate them, um, whichever one, whichever male the female chooses, and uh, we're gonna add them to the population, the, the parents and the children. Um, after we do that, um, we are going to start uh, sorting them by fitness um, and see which ones we're actually going to keep. Um, we also mutate them uh, and you know, once we're done with that, we break because we only need a certain amount of uh, of individuals per population. So um, we're gonna get to dive into more what the tra travel salesman problem is. The travel salesman problem basically indicates um, that you're gonna have a, a salesman that has to travel uh, among some cities. We have a uh, 1,000 by 1,000 miles uh, block. And uh, we can generate cities with this UI that I created. Um, here we can set up how many generations for the GA we have and uh, what the population size should be for the genetic algorithm. Um, then we can generate cities with a little star on the top. Um, and then we see that little red dot. That red dot is the, the home city of the salesman. So the point of it is that the salesman has to actually travel from that city to every other city in the map. Um, in the shortest uh, distance. So here the genetic algorithm what it's doing is calculating the best individual the one, the, the, each individual is basically the the route that the salesman has taken. So here we see it in a later uh, at a more advanced stage where you have um, you have your salesman actually now figuring out which route's the best one. Um, and this is the algorithm A which is just the basic one with just the, the mating, regular mating this is the algorithm B, um, where we have uh, uh, our gender uh, uh, mechanism taking place, where the female is choosing the best male couple and then uh, mating. So, as this is being done, um, the the solution, the the optimal to so find the best optimal solution, it's actually it will take a billion a billion years or more to find the best optimal solution. So what we're trying to find out is which one, which algorithm um, is best, if any, uh, or if they're the same. That's what I mean by any. So here we have, um, you know, each run, each for each algorithm, the one on the left is the algorithm A, uh, one on the, on the right is algorithm B. We have the fitness for each uh, run that we did. Fitness is basically the best individual. 
and then we have the total which is just an average of all the runs divided by the amount of runs so um, that's travels has been the problem and how we solve it with a genetic algorithm